Dobre. Hello everyone and welcome back to the wild wonders of Southern Africa. Now today's species is a really really rare find for me. I've only seen them about three times in my life. Now they're uncommon but uh, you can find them in Kruger National Park if you're really really lucky. Now it's called the white-headed vulture. Now, its conservation status is critically endangered and that is because of habitat destruction and also because of carcass poisoning. A lot of people in Africa believe that vultures can see into the future. So what do they do? They actually go and they poison a lot of carcasses and wait for the vultures to then eat from those carcasses and then the vultures would die and they would then drink the blood of those vultures. Now, unfortunately the poison also goes into the bloodstream of the vultures and a lot of times these same guys that poison the vultures they themselves die. Now my question is, if a vulture can see into the future, won't they be able to see their own death? Something to think about. They're uncommon in sub-Saharan Africa and they occur from Senegal, Gambia, all the way down through to Southern Africa, South Africa and then Swaziland. Now normally you find these vultures in pairs. The area that they occupy is between 50 and 430 square kilometers. So that's why when you get to a carcass and you see white-headed vultures feeding from a carcass, it's mostly just a male and female together. Okay. They often arrive first at the carcass. Uh, the problem is they cannot compete with your larger vultures, like your lapid face vultures. Those are much more aggressive. So the white backed vultures hang back a little bit and they just pick up the scraps and other pieces of meat that they can find. Uh, they do mostly eat carrion. Now and again they will go for insects and other things that they can find as well. These birds usually perch and sleep in large acacia trees and boobab trees. Now the advantage here is hot air rising in the late afternoon allows them to get onto the thermals. So early early mornings it's very difficult for vultures flying off. They, they utilize quite a lot of energy to get up into the air. So it's much more easier for them to just wait for the hot air to rise and glide on those thermals as it goes up. The white-headed vulture might be confused by some of the other larger vultures, but that iconic white head and that triangular shaped head, that is what separates it from birds like the lapid face vulture and, um, and the hooded vulture. So the hooded vulture has got a much thinner bill whereas the leopard face vulture has got a bare skin around the head as well. So that gives you an idea how to identify the white-headed vulture. The blue around the nose is also a diagnostic feature to look out for. So the length of the white-headed vulture is 78 to 85 centimeters in length. The wingspan is between 202 and 230 centimeters. The weight between 3.3 and 5.3 kilograms, so an average of 4.26 kilograms. And 
In most cases with vultures, the females are larger than the males. So the total population of the white-headed vulture throughout Africa has before been estimated between 10,000 and 18,750 individuals. Later on they discovered that this is incorrect and it's closer to about 5,500. So that is also one of the, the crucial reasons why they've actually placed the, the white-headed vulture under critically endangered. So they moved it from being vulnerable to critically endangered. A very, very cool book uh, where I get most of my uh, information about raptors of Southern Africa is this, The Raptors Guide of Southern Africa. Ulrich, you did a stunning job and I do commend you on all the information, all the stunning pictures you have put in here as well. Now, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are a bird nerd just like myself, then click on subscribe and follow every time I post a new video about birds. There's loads of different videos from all over Southern Africa. I post about mammals, I post about insects, frogs, you name it. So if you find the wildlife of Southern Africa interesting, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.